a vaccine is designed around a way to uh, enhance the immune system in the body to prevent uh, infection or prevent disease. You may be infected but prevent disease. Uh, it, it enhances your immune response. So the body already has been subjected to what you might say a minor infection and then when you see the intact infectious organism the body's ready to respond against it. Now, well the problem is, is how, um, with, with the virus because the, the classical approach for uh, making influenza vaccines is you have to grow the virus and uh, that's usually done since a virus does not grow like a bacteria does say on a, in a culture or an auger plate you have to grow it in cells and normally they grow these in, in, in eggs, duck eggs so as a result it takes a, a, a while to be able to generate enough of the material the, the difficulty with seasonal flu and also H1N1 there are two major components on the virus that um, are the primary immunogens or, or antigens uh, that uh, the body interacts with and these mutate rapidly and in seasonal flu you'll usually have a mutation in one of them where the other one will stay constant and with the swine flu that, or the H1N1 that we're looking at now but where it becomes problematic is because you've had a shift in both of these particular uh, proteins on the surface. Um, individuals that have, or say, have a predisposition to certain respiratory diseases, such as asthma, allergies, these sorts of things, uh, should be vaccinated. Um, individual, younger individuals that have never seen this, that could potentially have a problem, um, should be vaccinated. Uh, I think the more individuals that are immunized against the vaccine with, with the vaccine prevents the um, basically prevents the exposure of individuals that might be uh, you know really susceptible and have uh, chronic conditions that, that would affect you. It has been proven that the vaccinology does work.